What's up, strugglers? I hope you're hungry. Now, as we all know, I have a degree in finance, but my first love has always been advertising. Don Draper, monster of a human being, absolutely despicable man. But damn it if he couldn't get you to buy a pack of cigarettes. But everybody else's tobacco is toasted. No, everybody else's tobacco is poisonous. Lucky strikes. Is toasted. There's so much psychology that goes into advertising and the strategies are always changing and everybody has an opinion on it. And whether or not a campaign is actually successful is not really what I care about right now. I just care about how gosh darn annoying some of these commercials are. Am I not going to buy Charmin toilet paper just because I think their commercials are repulsive? Can you put a roll of new Charmin Ultra Soft in the bathroom? Oh yeah, baby. You feel so good. Pause off, pal. Just one squeeze. Just enjoy it with your eyes. I don't know. I, I, I would still probably buy the toilet paper. But I'm also not clawing my way through hordes of millennial women at Target trying to get a pack of it, right? Do these commercials make me want to switch to Cricket Wireless? Hi! Hi! Hola! Hi! Hi. Okay, bye! Not at all. But now I at least know that Cricket Wireless exists, and if my carrier tries to up my frickin' fees again, I'm, I'll consider switching over to Cricket. And why are there so many commercials for prescription drugs? Doesn't a doctor have to write you a prescription for that? Why are they advertising on TV so much? I can't just go shopping for Simbacort. Let's blow the candles together. Okay, let's huff and puff. Like you do sometimes, Grandpa? The f you say to me? A doctor has to tell you to get Simbacort. Are the commercials just for doctors that happen to be watching TV? Are they trying to get people to walk into their doctor's office and suggest that they prescribe them Simbacort? We all know how much everybody loves when inexperienced people tell them how to do their job. Why didn't they teach me any of this in college? <laughs> I'm looking it up, I need to know. So patients are better informed about their healthcare and treatment options. That sounds like the doctor's job, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the commercials that really get under my skin are the ones that are not only irritating to watch, but also I'm never gonna buy their product. Enter Burger King. If I were to rank every fast food restaurant that I've ever eaten at in my entire life, Burger King would sit very close to the bottom. Out of all the times I've been asked, hey, where do you wanna eat? Burger King has literally never been my answer. I just don't like it. I don't like the taste of the food there. The chicken fries are kind of lit, won't lie about that, but their burgers I just don't think are very good. That's my opinion. And that just makes their fake, corny, poorly made real people commercials that much more insufferable to watch. I've been very vocal about my hatred for commercials that pretend to feature real people and their real reactions to things. Hey Chevy, stop doing these stupid ads because everyone hates them. And now it feels like Burger King is hopping on that train too. Why not, huh? Everybody all aboard the Drive Sky Crazy Train. Choo -choo. They've been going freaking sicko mode on the lame real people commercials for the last year or so and it's high time I put my foot down. I'm here to call you out on your malarkey, Mr. King, if that is your real name. So for example, they did this commercial where they were just pretending to go out on the streets of New York and interview random people about some like chicken strips or something. We're in New York to see who's been eating crispy chicken tenders from Burger King. Oh yeah, I love those. The catch is, these haven't existed on the menu until today. They're gonna freaking get some people, aren't they? They're gonna prank so many people. This is gonna be such a sick prank. I like the, the crispy crunch on the outside. The tender all white chicken inside. I eat the crispy, I eat the chicken, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Last time I had some crispy chicken tenders, uh, probably like a week ago. I know I've seen clips from other shows where they'll ask people on the street a question about something and the people will just lie because they're like thinking they're gonna be on TV or whatever. So I'm not saying that this couldn't possibly happen, but like, it's just very convenient. Probably like a week ago. What if I told you you didn't have crispy chicken tenders there? I don't, I don't know why you would say that. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Why the f would you say that? Who are you? What do you know? They don't have crispy chicken tenders. They're a brand new product. You'd have me all types of confused, bro. <laughs> and you're one of the first to try them. All right, you caught me in a lie. <laughs> you got if this was legit, why are people so willing to lie for Burger King? What do you have to gain from <laughs> lying about Burger King? Mm, you're you're f***ing good. Yeah, these are immaculate. Got the crunch. This might be my new go-to. That's fantastic. If you're just walking down the street and somebody hands you a chicken tender, 
you're probably going to think it's decent, right? It would have to be pretty bad for somebody on the street to be like, yeah, no, these, these, nah, these are not good. So that was a sick prank. They totally tricked all of those real people. Let's watch another one here. What is Burger King known for? The Whopper. Well, they've got plenty of real people commercials based around the Whopper. So let's watch one of those. So what I'm getting from everyone is we don't like fast food. No. We really don't like fast food. No. We do not like no. fast food. No, 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 no. McDonald's garbage. Burger King, the worst. Bro, fuck fast food. Fast food, honestly, get that shit out of my face. I've never been so passionately against anything in my life than I am about fast food right now at this very moment. Burger King disguised their Whopper as a fancy burger. So the burger in front of you has no colors or flavors from artificial sources. We're sitting inside of a Burger King. I don't really know. It's, it's clearly a Burger King burger. It's 100% beef and it's flame grilled. The tomatoes and onions were cut fresh today. All the things he's listing just seem like stuff that you would expect from any any place serving food. It's a nice crunch to it too, with the lettuce and the onion. This is leaps and bounds better than McDonald's. Is this better than Burger King? This is, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Don't even, <laughs> yeah. If you told me this burger was from Burger King, oh my God, I'd eat my shorts right now. I'd eat your shorts. I'd eat your shorts right now. There's no way in gosh darn heck that this burger's from Burger King, right? I know we're sitting in a Burger King. I know you keep talking about Burger King. If this is a Burger King burger, I I'll eat your shorts. This definitely reminds me of a high quality burger that my dad would put on the grill and put in my hand as a kid. Uh, yeah, Joe, make sure that we get the nostalgia in this commercial. Make sure you're, you're prompting some nostalgic uh, vibes. Joe, talk about your father handing you a, a nice, juicy, high quality burger as a kid. Joe, I know that you're 50 years old and you've had hundreds of burgers in your lifetime, but go ahead and talk about that nostalgic feeling that you got when your dad handed you a high quality burger as a kid. What if I told you, you just ate a Whopper from Burger King? This thing is flame broiled. The vegetables are like you just cut them. It's almost like he just told you that <laughs> a couple minutes ago. It's 100% beef and it's flame grilled. The tomatoes and onions were cut fresh today. This thing is flame broiled. The vegetables are like you just cut them. Let's check out the Angry Whopper. I never actually had an Angry Whopper. I remember seeing commercials for it though. How big a fan of the Angry Whopper are you? I miss the Angry Whopper more than I've ever missed a person. Yikes. <laughs> I think maybe you're hanging around with the wrong crowd. When Burger King took the Angry Whopper off the menu, fans were heated. So we invited them to a focus group to enjoy their favorite burger once again. Do people really care about Burger King this much? I don't think I've ever met somebody that's even been like, yeah, I enjoy Burger King. Well, I mean, obviously it's like a very successful company. It's one of the top fast food chains. To enjoy their favorite burger once again, or so they thought. When I first tried it, I was addicted. I literally ate it every day for like weeks on end. I felt that way weirdly about Little Caesars pizza for a little bit. On my way home from class when I was in college, I would stop at Little Caesars like once a week and just get a whole pizza and eat the whole thing. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Little Caesars is very polarizing. Either you love it or you hate it. I, ever since they changed their recipe, I think it's pretty dang good now, but I'm sure I will get Flame grilled in the comments for that. <laughs> if I can see an angry opera today, I'll be happy. The picture right there is making me. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be a minute. You said that 20 minutes ago. I know. This is like a Nathan for you skit. As hanger set in, tensions got hotter. Wait, are they trying to tell me that they've been sitting here for two and a half hours? No sane person would sit there for two and a half hours waiting for a burger. I'm calling BS on your timer there, Burger King. I haven't ate anything all day. Seriously, I'm starving. It's those crispy onions with the spice on top. Soon, their anger began to get the best of them. I'm craving an angry Whopper. Yeah, I'm not leaving here without an angry Whopper. You're I'm craving a bathroom break. Please, let me just go. I need to pee so bad. I haven't had anything to drink in four hours. Could somebody please get us something to drink? Is there anyone here right now? I'm starting to hallucinate. And when their anger got hot yeah, enough... I'm angry now. That was a slap in the face. Whoa, whoa! I'm upset. I was promised an angry Whopper. Okay, Jet, <laughs> chill out. Honestly, they've probably been sitting in this room for like 20 minutes max. <laughs> I would love to speak to one of these people, actually. If anybody knows any of these people, go ahead and send them my way. 
I'm upset. I was promised an angry Whopper. I was promised an angry Whopper. And if I don't get one in the next 10 seconds, I'm gonna put my foot through that glass window. The wait was over. <laughs> oh my God. Is this real? I mean, you guys totally got me. The waiting was uh, quite terrible. Angry Whopper, kick it. This is phenomenal. Can I just say, you could probably put a pile of ground up sneakers in front of them and they would eat it at this point. If it had actually been four hours, yeah, of course they're gonna enjoy it. So Burger King's newest thing is the Impossible Whopper. I think it would be impossible for you to have not heard of this thing by now. They advertise it like crazy. It's like meat that's made out of plants. Apparently Impossible is a company that a lot of people really like. Well, at least according to this Burger King commercial. We invited Impossible fans to the opening of a very special restaurant. I love Impossible burgers. I hunt them down. Feels like they're experiencing something big. And we had some great news for them. Oh! <laughs> Burger King! Oh, oh God! Burger King! You Burger King! Oh, shit. I've been waiting for this. I've been stalking Burger King. The Impossible Whopper is now available in New York City. Yes, but no. The Impossible Whopper is going nationwide. It's here. It's here and it's in every Burger King everywhere. It's it's here, right? And it's in, I can go, I can go to uh, Sacramento and it would be there. Butte, would it be in Butte? If I got in my car right now and I drove down to Miami, Florida, you're telling me there would be an Impossible Burger at a Burger King? Oh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to do right now. Burger King just markets the crap out of this Impossible Whopper. They really want you to buy it and they really want you to think that other people think that it tastes just like regular meat. We conducted an experiment to evaluate how well Whopper fans know their beloved Whopper. The people you will see here are real people and these are their real reactions. They're, yeah, uh yeah, they're real people, obviously. It's not a computer person. That's the way that they trick you. That's how they confuse you into thinking that this is legit. But I am still very skeptical about the real reactions thing. I just don't fully buy into that. I've probably eaten about two Whoppers a week for the last 20 years. I love Whoppers. I've turned Burger King into a crime scene a time or two. I absolutely love beef. I've heard people say, I love steak. I love meat. Oh, just love me a good chunk of meat. But I don't know if I've ever heard anybody say I love beef. I love beef. <laughs> beef all the way. If it's not beef, I don't want it. Try to give me a piece of cake. Um, no thanks. If it's not beef, I don't want it. W waffle? Never heard of it. If it's not beef, I don't want it. First bite, I would know the difference between beef and whatever else you have. Little do they know, their Whopper patty was actually made from plants. Wait, plant what, what are you talking about? No animals, just plants. So I'm sorry, hold on. What's the structure of this? When did they film this? Did they just record people eating inside and then pull them in afterwards? Or did they do that interview outside and then have them go eat? I'm all kinds of confused. You'd have me all types of confused, bro. <laughs> You're kidding me. We're not, Grant. <laughs> this is a f***ing cow. <laughs> no f***ing cow. It's made of f***ing beef right here. You see that? It's beef. We swear. Oh, Burger King is so edgy. They're so cool. They're so hip. Burger King bleeped swear words in their commercial. Can you believe it? But Scott, you bleeped swear words earlier in this video. Yeah, I know. I'm a dumb hypocrite. That's just what I do, though, right? Like, Burger King is clearly trying to be something that they're not. I don't know. It's not really a big deal. I don't know why I'm complaining about it. It's not beef. That's impossible. It tasted just like a Whopper should taste. Lies! A patty with zero milligrams of cholesterol, 17 grams of protein, 100% Whopper, and 0% beef. We know it's impossible to believe. It is a little impossible to believe, is it not? That something that's not made from real meat could taste exactly like real meat? I have a hard time just believing that without trying it for myself. I'm not going to, okay? You're not gonna trick me with your little commercials, all right? I don't even want I, I don't I don't even want to know what it tastes like. I do not care to know if the Impossible Whopper tastes just like a beef patty. That doesn't even tickle my curiosity even a little bit. I don't I don't I don't care to know. I don't care. Hi, could I get one regular Whopper and then one Impossible Whopper? And I actually have a coupon that I was wondering if I could use. Whopper and Impossible? Yes, sir. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I just, I know that this is embarrassing for me, but I just need to know. All right, it's pretty obvious which one is which. I was kind of hoping they'd be wrapped the same so I could guess. This is a heavy burger. Oh, it actually does smell pretty good. 
I sound like the people in the commercial. <laughs> it smells good. I haven't had a Burger King burger probably in like seven or eight years by choice. I've never really enjoyed it. But hey, maybe I'm gonna be just like the people in the ads and I'm gonna change my perspective. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bite of the regular Whopper first, just to get an idea of the baseline of what real meat tastes like, you know? All right, here we go, moment of truth. Okay, Burger King, it's actually not bad. <laughs> Dare I say, this is good. I enjoy this. Oh man, what am I saying? When was the last time I ate though? I haven't eaten today, it's 4.30, so that might be why, but it's pretty freaking good. The pickles, oh, the crunch, it's like the, it's like the vegetables were just cut today. There's not much of a crunch. Just the patty to see what that tastes like. That's beef. Now let's try the Impossible Whopper. Oh boy. It does look a little bit different. It looks a little too perfect. The patty itself looks a little too round. I don't know. I will reserve judgment for my taste buds. Here we go. Hmm. Something seems a little different than the regular one, but I don't think it, I don't know if it's the patty. I think there's like maybe less ketchup or something. It just tastes a little bit different. It's still good though. Like you could give this to anybody and tell them it was a regular Whopper and I'm sure they'd believe you. What am I, ah, I'm advertising for Burger King now. Let me try the patty alone to see what that tastes like. When you isolate it, it is a little more noticeable. It just feels different. It's a little more mushy, but honestly, if you put these both of these in front of me and you said one of them is made from plants and one's from meat, I'd have a hard time telling you which was which. I can't believe I fell for it. I fell for the freaking. I'm such a loser. I'm such a small brain little man. The regular one is a little bit better. I, I don't know why. All right, anyway, let's uh, let's go back over here and finish the video. Commercials like this just feel lazy and condescending to me. Like, we don't have to figure out how to sell this thing to you. Just look at this guy who you've never met and have no connection to. He likes it, so you probably should too. Oh boy, they do kind of got a point there, don't they? Buy it. Buy our burger. Yeah, I think I will. Are these ads bad? That's pretty subjective. I think they're pretty annoying and obviously fake, which makes me feel like Burger King and Chevy and any other commercial that does these real people, real reactions commercials, it makes it feel like they're being disingenuous, but being annoying and unlikable doesn't make it bad. Bad would probably be if it wasn't effective at generating more sales. And we don't know if these commercials directly generated more sales. Information like that is so expensive to get your hands on. Why do you think Don Draper has so much money? But one thing is for sure, People know about the Impossible Whopper now because of commercials like this. The commercials raised awareness for a new product. I probably wouldn't have known about the Impossible Whopper if it wasn't for these commercials. But the thing that I always come back to is you can raise awareness for a product without being annoying about it. The more you see something, the more you're gonna remember it. Put this in front of somebody's eyes 30 times. That's impossible. It tasted just like a Whopper should taste. Lie! Or put this in front of their eyes 30 times. Match or mix. Any two will cost you six. Only at Burger King. And they're gonna remember both. The only difference is one of them comes with the negative emotion of annoyance and the other makes you feel neutral. So are we more likely to buy something that we're annoyed with or something that we feel neutral on? Well, I bought an Impossible Whopper, so <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. And that's advertising, baby. But that is all I've got for you this time. Thank you guys so much for watching and for liking and subscribing, all that good stuff. And a special thank you to my patrons. Those that are in the top tier will be listed at the end of this video. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye.